Alright, so remember I said I was going to do a bonus video on normalization? Well, here it is. Uh, the process of normalization, uh, first let's, let's explain it in uh, decimal, uh, in, in base 10. Normalization. The process of normalization is, is taking a number, for example, 0 0.05, and uh, shifting the decimal point, so that would just be 5 uh, times 10 to the minus 2, or 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 1. Either one, whatever. These is, this is the process of normalization, the process of shifting the decimal point over until we get rid of these uh, useless zeros. So, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's clean that out a little bit. Okay, so uh, the process of normalization goes like this. You, um, you start uh, with the mantissa. Uh, you, you start it at the smallest, so we were going to do 0 0.05. And what you do is you, uh, you, you put in your number, so uh, so that would be putting in a 1 here. So if we were to, to try to represent this number, the first thing we do is just put a 1 into the mantissa, and then uh, in, the, in the least significant bit, uh, that's, that's great, which this should be the smallest number we can represent, but as we see, that is um, 2 to the 0 is 1 uh, times 0 0.125. Yeah, uh, that's, that's not... Uh, that's that's not not as close to 0 0.05 as we can get as I've shown we've shown before and so what we do process of normalization is you increase uh, the magnitude of the mantissa by one um, and so the increase the magnitude magnitude of the mantissa by one uh, that means uh, that we have a zero here and we have a 1 here. That increases the magnitude of the mantissa by 1 and uh, then at the same time we uh, increase or we decrease the magnitude of the exponent. So we bump down the magnitude of the exponent. In order to do that here then we're going to need to uh, make this negative. The sign of the exponent is going to be negative and then uh, we also need to give it, uh, in the least significant bit here, we also need to give that uh, a value of 1. Now, uh, that's, that's getting there. Uh, uh, this is going to be 0.25 times uh, 1 half is going to be, um, well, still not as good as we can get, right? Uh, but we can keep doing this and uh, what happens as we keep doing this is the best we're going to get is going to be this value that we showed before. You just keep going through this process of, of bumping the mantissa up one and, and bumping up the exponent up uh, one until you get to a number such that uh, the, the magnitude of the mantissa is uh, between uh, one over the base and, and one. Uh, so um, as I said before, uh, precisely what we come out with as we do that, as we continue that, that process of, of, of bumping the decimal point over, uh, increasing, increasing the, um, or, well, rather decreasing the magnitude of the exponent, um, increasing the negative magnitude, then uh, we come up with, with uh, this number here uh, that we had calculated before.